And you'll find as you go through the website, there's several videos and images that's available that demonstrates what our island is about and the product that we're offering. So that's in the simplest sense. Here is more than just a quiet place. Here is a destination found only at the end of a journey. A Caribbean island where all that surrounds you welcomes all that is in you. St. Kitts, follow your heart. Let's move along quickly to some other important areas. So there's a document search center. Now across document, across the whole of government, there are important documents that people need to access from time to time, whether legal documents, uh, important forms that you have across various ministries. Those are accessible right here in an easily searchable form that you can just pull up with a ministry. Just hit one of those drop down lists for me, please. You can search across by the different document types, or you can go to a particular topic, sorry, a little too fast there, yeah? And, or a particular keyword, and you can actually access the forms that are available across all ministries. If it's a little further, yeah, across, let's go to the photos area. All of these nice scenic photos that you see on the screens, they will be also available by photo albums right here, whether by culture, scenic, architecture, etc. people or leaders will be all available here. Let's go to the videos tab. There have been several videos produced by our, our leaders. They're working for you, for example. They are visiting our videos, documentaries, national addresses, etc. All of this will be accessible right here at your fingertips from that video gallery. And there will be fresh ones added as they become available. Let's go to the events. We've captured across government. All departments, all ministries, a very active events calendar. And what that does, it allows individuals to see what's happening within government. If you click on view all events, just gonna <coughs> going a little deeper there, it gives you two views with a, a calendar style where you could actually go month by month or a list view which, which gives you a complete listing which is searchable, etc. Right? Let's look at uh, another tab at the bottom. The social media which is controlled by the SKNIS as well. All these social media channels is accessible for the government. And then at the very far right, bottom right, I want to talk about the apps. So these are the process engineered apps. These are the second phase areas that we talk about. And in our far, um, the far corner, you see a visual display of what some of the apps are about. I'm, I'll encourage you after the event to go and interact, ask some questions. They'll be there. Click on view all apps for me. So you can at least pull up there are, 20, there are 20 apps that are currently being looked at for work in progress to be released over the, few, um, over the 2016 to 2020 period, which would encourage or allow our citizens to access government services on your mobile phone. Now, I want to clarify one thing. The entire portal, once you log on, you can access everything. But if you're an individual and say you just want to say uh, really your driver's license, there's a specific app for that. If you're dealing with customs and you're accustomed to you know, import items, you're an importer, you'll have an app that you could actually track through as you the world, the different things that they do through customs. If you are, well, one of the things we're thinking about as well is uh, securely being able to access or at least publish, maybe with some legislation, don't want to speak too much about that, the voters list. And many others that we're looking at. Citizenship by investment, if you're into that, uh, if you're a, a service provider there, you can track your applications to government specifically. Right? So these are some of the areas that we talk about. Crime prevention, very, very important as well. We have an app for that, which integrates straight into the government and the police, national security, to aid in crime prevention. And so if you, let's back to the home page. Home. Yeah, just want to say thank you very much for the overview. As you browse the portal, if the bandwidth is good enough, you'll actually see some of the moving images that's available that you've seen on your, your, your visual display earlier that gives the warmth and uh, you know, natural scenery and ambience of St. Kitts and Nevis. I want to say thank you very much.
Okay, it's working now. We told you that it was exciting, didn't we? Another round of applause for Stasio, please. So let's get back to the roundtable discussion. Ophelia and Fear, you have led the charge so far in terms of the e-government. Tell us what the process has been like for you. Okay, first of all, I would like to thank the Honorable Prime Minister and uh, our Minister for Justice, Legal Affairs and Communications for really endorsing the whole project and concept of e-government. It is not new um, world, worldwide. However, it requires a different thinking for government workers. And what we have been doing over the past few months is really sensitizing the heads of, of government, the cabinet, and um, the heads of different departments, permanent secretaries, about e-government and the need to really collaborate and consolidate information services in this one-stop shop portal. Now, it is not an easy journey, and we know that Anything that comes with change, it's difficult. But we are pleased with the support we have been getting so far from the various ministries. And we would reach out to you and continue to reach out to you to gather the necessary information. And as Sashio talked about process engineering, that will take some time. But it is all in an effort to enhance the delivery of services to the general public, and as we see, persons in the diaspora and an international scale. What is a P3 partnership? All right, good morning again, everyone. Um, before I answer that question, like um, Ms. Blanchard did, I, re would, I really would like to thank um, Honorable uh, Prime Minister and all of the ministers here. Um, I have never seen all of the ministers at an IT event, and I've been working in the public service for 10 years. I don't want you all to take this lightly. This means a lot to us to see your visible support here, so thank you. With regards to what the partnership is, um, it's simply a public-private um, partnership. And what this has done, at least for us within the unit, it has given us an opportunity to expand our skill set. Um, we certainly did not have all of the expertise in-house. And Stasio and his team, and Adam, and there are many young guys here um, Many of them you can see here. I would like to point out um, all of them. If you can just stand or raise your hand, we have some very young, local, technical, skilled persons who built this. That was your job. All right. But all of these guys have come in, and we've shared with them. They've, we have learned from them. They have learned from us. And it's really been a very good experience. I really didn't know. I knew we had skilled people in St. Kitts and Nevis. But it was really nice to see young persons who are as technically competent as persons anywhere else in the world. And I'm serious. So all of you need to be proud. I mean, a lot of the young people, they get bad flack. You know, sometimes we don't do things well as they should. But they are very skilled, educated, highly skilled and educated and motivated young persons right here in St. Kitts and Nevis, male and female, that are doing very, very well. So I say thank you to Stash and his team. And going forward, I welcome continuing um, the work with you. 
Okay, Stasio, it's your turn again. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Open Interactive. Thank you very much. Uh, open Interactive is just as the name suggests, open and interactive, right? We, our company was formed in 2014, August, and the aim of our, our company, when Adam and I came together, was to try to elevate and, and get our, you know, our young people, the, the, the creative class, people who want to do better for themselves here on the island, to provide ideas that can challenge, that can uh, elevate, that can encourage people to embrace a new concept and to realize that they can be better than what currently exists. Happily for us, we were able to enter a public-private partnership with the government. And I must say that our prime minister, I, I want to thank him. I really want to single him out here for his visionary leadership <laughs> and for you know, his resolve to embrace what we have presented and to stand behind it, as he avidly spoke this morning about the different things that uh, we're looking forward to do. There are many people out there who would think that, you know, we, what is it different we're going to see? You know, we have this new situation, we have a new government. What is it different we're going to see? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm here to tell you that Open Interactive is just that, different. I'm sure just by what you see here before us, it's something different and historic within the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And we don't just want to stay there. We want to embrace all the young men from the, 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 the college who came forward and presented the ideas of robotics, etc. We embrace local talent. We exist to grow and encourage local talent. And on that note, I really want to emphasize where Pierre started you know, heading to, that everything you saw here today, everything you saw here was done 100% by local talent. I don't want to single them out. I want to single them out right now. Could our, our, our developers come forward, please? I want to single out the young men. Come, come, come forward. I want to single out before us the young men, you know, who have, you know, these are these are these are these are familiar young men, you know. So we have we have Roving Door, right? We have, and these are our senior developers. There are others which I'm going to call to the fore as well, but you know, Roving Surfy things. They're shy, they're shy, I must admit. But these young men have been working tirelessly. They have taken up the mantle of learning this new Mendix cutting edge platform and turned it into what we have seen here before us today. And um, at least one of them has to say something. So I'll allow the senior lead developer to say a few things, a few words on behalf of the team. Well, you know, Stasio is known for putting people on the spot. Um, well, on behalf of the team uh, and myself, I just wanted to say that the experience in working on this project, it, it's a rewarding one. Uh, we've grown a lot in our craft and our skill as developers, and we really hope to continue to make this contribution or make this our contribution to uh, the, the, the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And to really be a part of helping everyone, all citizens of St. Gates and Nevis, in being able to interact more with the government. And uh, I really believe that this would be historic uh, as, as we roll out over the years. And I really do hope that it would be. Uh, it, it would really receive the recognition and praise that it deserves. Thank you very much. And these are some of our young men. I, our team doesn't, don't end there. The name. Names. The names. Okay. So we have Rovin Doe, who is a young man, our senior developer. He's from St. Paul's. Right? <laughs> In the middle, we have Asquil Folance. Our lead developer from Sandy Point. 
And for those of you who don't know, he's actually my younger brother. <laughs> Up and coming. And um, on the far end, we have Corvon Wallace, who's joined us from Nevis to be a part of the Open Interactive team. So you're seeing all-encompassing uh, facet here. And these are young men, but there are others that I want to single out as well. Right? Thanks. I also want to single out the women, because none of this could have been possible without the women of Open Interactive. And so I want to call on Donella Diaz to come forward. And she has... There's Donella. And she has worked tirelessly along with Ophelia and Pia in the IT department daily to ensure that what you see before us with content has been a success. Donella Diaz. I also want to call on John L. Rollins. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, John L. Join the team. John L. Rollins. And John L. has been working within our marketing agency and uh, was very instrumental in staging what you see here before us today, John L. Rollins. And then I also want to call on Kimberly Irwin, who, who packed up her bag from New York and decided to join the Open Interactive team here in St. Kitts to deliver what you see being done before us today. And here's Kimberly Irwin, an international writer, right? But there's more. I also want to call on Lauren Pemberton, who moved back to Nevis, back to her roots, and decided to join us here to stay at this wonderful event. So these are the women of Open Interactive. Thank you very much. Wait, wait. And then I want to save the very best for last. Well, Akila is also, um, she's, she has, I'm not sure she's here with us today. Oh, she is Akila. Akila, our accountant. Just come forward. I wasn't seeing you. <laughs> and it's Akila who ensures that everything is on point with the numbers. Beautiful. And then last but not least, Adam Anderson. Who <laughs> Adam. You know, and he's gonna say a few words, but Adam has been an, an inspiration to me. I, I don't know, the age is a you don't know how you, how you get this, this guy to, to, to you know, just be there and just be in this thing. But somehow I managed to encourage him to forget about the US and where he come from and set up shop here. So Adam has been with us for two years. He worked shoulder to shoulder with us and he's here for the long haul, he's here to stay. Adam Anderson. Adam? Adam, Adam, come on, come on. <laughs> Sorry. It's been about five years since I think I saw a tear, so. But thank you, thank you. I'm sorry. In every sense of the word, this has been a labor of love. And um, everything that's been said and expressed here, I hope that everybody understands how deeply important this is for, for everybody here and for the country. And uh, we're, we're happy to contribute everything that we have and everything that we are for the success of the, the government, for the success of the Federation. And even though I may look a little different, <laughs> my, uh, my heart and my soul is rooted here. And, uh, Thank you so much. Um, Thank you so much. So, uh, you know, th that's, that's our team of Open Interactive, and we're all local. We, where we can, we don't export any talent. We, we don't import talent. Or if we import it, it comes here, stay here, and contribute towards capacity building for our local economy. No money, none of your money, none of the government's money that's been spent to advance this project is going anywhere. It's staying right here in St. Kitts Nevis. And that's important to know, right? So there you have it, Open Interactive. We're also building the Open Creative Campus. I want to just 
say a few words about that. It's just uh, next door. And I also want to thank Mr. Ernest Amri, if he's in the building, for allowing us to use his space and converting it how we want to create a transformational space where young men and women, the youngsters from the college, can come forward and you know, understand what it is to embrace technology and you know, entrepreneurship, elevate their skills and ideas, think out of the box. That space is going to be a transformational space. I won't go much deeper with it, but stay tuned. This public-private partnership is for real. Thank you. We'll now hear from Mr. Pierre Bowron. Um, what you've seen this morning is just um, the beginning. There's much more um, to come. I wanted to sensitize you that perhaps in a, in a month or so, or a few more weeks, our National um, ICT Center, that's at CA Paul um, Southwell, industrial sites, that is going to be reopened. But once it's reopened, it's going to be totally new. So this transformative experience that you're seeing here, the goal is and the hope is, is that we can also transform that place just like this. It's going to be a place of innovation, to transform young minds and old minds um, to get them on the innovation, information, technology um, bandwagon. Um, the last thing I would say is with regards to ICTs, we don't have a choice. This is a path that we must take. So I encourage all of you to jump on board and um, help us all to get there. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I said it before, and I'll say it again, the future looks bright for St. Kitts and Nevis. Now, we do want to hear from you. We know that you have been here for quite a while, but are there any questions that you would like to ask at this time? Any comments? What do you think? <laughs> I am excited, you know what I mean? Because this is the future. This journey that we see here today, the culmination of this, is the beginning, yes, but it has been long in coming. I think it is Pierre who mentioned that what we are doing today has been in the works for a long time. The whole concept of IT in St. Kitts and Nevis I think would have begun around the year 2000, when the Ministry of Education started putting computers in schools, wiring them, and a department was built to support that type of educational advancement. In 2004, for the first time, St. Kitts and Nevis got a ministry responsible for information technology. And in 2005, um, Consultants were engaged to produce a 2006 to 2011 strategic plan. And a lot of what you're seeing today, what you're seeing today was envisaged in that strategic plan. It's taken a very long time. In that period, we have had the start of the ICTU Center at C.A. Paul's Southern Industrial Site with the assistance and support of the government of Taiwan of China on Taiwan. And I think we need to give them a big round of applause for what they have contributed in ICTs over the years. They have been instrumental in assisting us to produce and to build out a health management information system that involves the hospital and is to be expanded to involve all of the external health centers and linking patient records and so forth. 
we have a whole program designed to various ministries to make the country of St. Kitts and Nevis we hope first world when it comes to the question of ICTs. We would want in the legal fraternity to look forward within the near future to e-filing so that doc our lawyers can stay in their offices and file documents in the registry. That there can be case management, you can follow that. And the management of the court systems can be maintained to look, improve efficiencies and understand what we are doing. We are seeing it in other areas. We have spoken earlier of the customs department, where over the years they have developed a highly efficient system called a secuda. In the um, Inland Revenue Department, where they have the among the three best networks, I'd like to speak about that, in St. Kitts and Nevis, at Treasury, at Customs, and Inland Revenue, the first rate. Um, network systems, but this now has to be expanded to the whole of government to make us more efficient, to make us more effective, to deliver services to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis in a cost-effective, more efficient manner. And we are very excited with the launch of this portal today that we are well on the way to doing that. The ICTU Center, as Pei was speaking about, closed since 2012. And so we want to thank the government and people of Taiwan who have come in and assisted us with our own budgetary support to rebuild that center and we'll in the next couple of weeks be able to have this new center that will now be able to bring the Office of Informa Information and Communication Technology on the one roof incubator systems um, services where entrepreneurs will be able to utilize the facilities. We are training for both the private and public sector can be done at that center. Certification in Microsoft and other types of um, um, processes, technology processes will be done there. Mendex, and I'm being told Mendex as well. <laughs> it is going to be an exciting period, and along with opening the actives, open campus, SKN Academy, that they are building next door here um, in Fort Lands. We see that the future is bright for St. Kitts and Nevis in the ICT department. We are moving, and I think that we all need to give ourselves as a country one big round of applause for what we have done here today. Thank you very much. A question? Good morning, everyone. My name is Martilla Williams, and I don't have a question, but I want to say that I feel wowed. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I can't pretend to say that I understand the technological dragon, but just looking at the pictures on the screen, saying it looks awesome. It looks beautiful. I cannot wait to have St. Kitts and all it has to offer at just the touch of one stroke, one stroke on a keypad. I can't wait to spread that news and tell everyone to find us online for all that you need. And I want to, and Nevis, yes, St. Kitts and Nevis, we are one, right? And I want to congratulate Open Interactive Stasio for such a bold move. And I want to encourage you, your young man, your kitchen, you've brought, look, look at this talent. I would walk down the road and not know that these guys have such marvelous talent. Our young people, it's not just about crime, we have talent. This is something positive and I hope that our leaders, our nation, that we embrace it. And I just want to congratulate Open Interactive for making such a bold and wonderful move. I look forward to hearing and seeing more of what you have to offer. Thank you. And we thank you for your comment. 
Yes, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Watkins Shiverton. I work at the Inland Revenue Department as the head of the MIS unit there. And I really just want to add two cents, really. Um, not so much a question, but a commendation and also a recommendation as well. Um, you may not be aware, but if you follow the trends globally, um, the Obama administration in the first 100 days of office launched the open government concept. And uh, very happy that 365 days, <laughs> as we are hearing, that we have the open government here in St. Kitts. Um, and that's a wonderful, um, noteworthy praise that we really want to extend to the government, again, the leadership which has envisioned this, and by extension, um, the ICT department. You are the enablers, and we look to you, of course, um, to also be the drivers. Um, just a couple of things. Um, I was very happy and pleased to see uh, what was demonstrated here this morning um, by uh, the e-government portal. And uh, just a couple noteworthy recommendations, if I may uh, extend to you, is to don't stop there. Don't stop short. Um, obviously, if you look at the maturity model of any e-governance um, port portal, um, there is the presence, there is the interactive stage, there is the transactional stage, and then there is system integration, which obviously are the things that we are hearing um, at this stage of the game. And I want you to don't stop there, because when you have a good government, when you have ICT, it leads to e-democracy. And um, these are very, very important things that we can't forego. Um, it's a citizen-centric citizen focus, and the citizen needs to engage the prime minister. They need to engage the parliamentarians. And in looking at the tab that was there, I noticed there is the information about the prime minister, but there should also be a means for the citizens to be able to um, utilize these tools um, at their fingertips <laughs> to be able to send emails or Twitter uh, messages or whatever it is. Um, to be able to have a part in the e participation aspect, um, which I believe we are heading towards and which would go very, very far um, going forward. And in addition to that as well, I was going to ask about on the site if it's your desire to have key performance indicators as it relates to GDP and different information. Because again, we want to target investors and these are very, very important pieces of information that they're going to ask for and they need. You need not to call um, or visit your country, but having that portal and to know, as he indicated to Apple, that we're ready for business. A uh, very, very piece of important piece of information that is necessary to have published as well. And another important aspect, of course, is the element of security. Again, um, with ourselves being open, it literally makes ourselves open and vulnerable. And we cannot in any way um, downplay that aspect. So therefore, we have to ensure that there is enough security. You did mention the idea of this SSL that is behind. But we can't even stop there. We have to make sure that this very, very wonderful, and as Motilla indicated, beautiful, attractive um, pieces of innovative infrastructure is well secured and free from any cyber attacks. We are hearing of the cyber attacks that are happening throughout the Caribbean which used to be in the US alone. But now it's for us to also realize and be aware that the threat also could be for us. So we have to ensure that it is well taken care of. So again, I'm very happy to be here and I'm very pleased with what I've seen. And in any way that we can, of course, lend our support, we will certainly do this. Thank you very much. Thank you for your recommendations. Are there any other questions or comments? If not, we invite you to 
look around the room, interact with the booth over here where you can go on to the website yourself. You can take a look at the virtual mobile app store to see what is available and what will be coming to you shortly. Or you can take pictures behind here in our section that we have arranged just for that. I want to thank you for coming and sharing this momentous occasion with us this morning. Well, this afternoon. Bruised and torn But I'm still here Some days my life Was filled with fear Oh, but I'm still here So many times I had to fight just to stay, to stay in the right. I have failed so many, many, many times, but I'm still here. I had many disappointments, but I am still here. There were days when I thought I could not make it, Lord, but I'm still here. So many storms I had to bear, Lord, for your joy, they can't compare. I'm still here I've been abused And misused But I am still here Been persecuted And accused Oh, but I Still here.